want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, what is your strategy for intraday? Answer by, Reshops Rebus Top. The most common question among day trader, what is the best strategy? Take trading like a cricket game. In cricket if you ask any batsman what is the best strategy to play? Simple answer is try to observe the ball for some time and hit. Some may suggest try to hit with the very first ball say walk, P to build pressure on bowler. Different player have different strategies to play it. Even Sachin can't play like Sewag and Sewag not, like Kohli and so else. But the thing which are common among all these brilliant players are successful with their unique strategy but quick enough to change their strategy according to pitch condition. Every trader have different mindset. Some trade with small SL, some aggressive trader with large SL, some with fixed target and some with trailing stop. One intraday trading is like T20 where you have to prepare for everything possible without emotions involved since you are trading at high leverage so try to enter into the trade having less risk but more reward that means try to capture trade near support and resistance. Too generally what I see people go to National Stock Exchange of India Limited and pick top 5 gainers and 5 losers to trade with. I strongly do not suggest since already a good movement has been taken and why you are entering into the trade where you can't justify your stop. 3. Do some research and find some good volatile stock for day having decent volume. There are some stock which are traded heavily like, Spin, Fortis, Relains, Tata Motors, ICICI, Idea etc. 4. If you are new to market then take some time to market to settle till 9, 45 and remember enter the trade where less risk but more target opportunity. Avoid trading at 9, 15 some people trade but most of the time retail trader hit their lose if trading at 9, 15, 5 try to focus a different time frame like 1 hour, 5 minutes and prior to start your first trademark level on day candle. 6 remember one thing you will never get top and bottom of the move if you are successful to get only 60% of the move you have enough profit. 7 one of the oldest strategy is the opening range breakout in which try to make a range depend which time frame you are looking for 15 minutes or 30 minutes and put your buy trigger order just above the high of range with stop loss, low of the range. But again this may work or not. If the range is so wide just avoid the trade. 8. One thing you'll get from market is that patience rewards you. Some people say market will go up and some say market will down. But remember as a trader you must know which downside level it may test to go upside or which upside level it may test to go downside so that you do not hit your stop loss. Here patience help you. Generally people take reversal trades so their patience is much needed. So wait for level testing. 9. Try to learn price action trading and make your own strategies. People suggest you pay for trading but I'll suggest you to take live trade at least with one share but take it live. 10. Since in India lesser people are trading commodity, crude oil, natural gas, zinc, but these are actually trading product. No one is going to invest into crude oil for 10 years for better returns but here only traders place the rule no manipulation is possible. And technically you can trade these product. 11. Keep your strategy simple. Do not confuse yourself with tons of indicator. Keep it simple. Remember one thing no one can teach you other than market. Generally two types of people who are trading. Trader who treat market with probability approach. Trader who treat everything like gambling and following advisory. Taking different courses, cursing the market. Answer by, Abhi G. Paul. A good strategy for successful intraday trading is being a conscious trader not a compulsive or impulsive one. Many a times you will realize that a good start to a trading day can land up with a loss and lots of anger towards yourself, just because of the fact that you got carried away with the start and over traded or revenge traded. Just in case you are not aware of what revenge trade is, it's when you try to earn back here, lost money from the same stock, that too in a hurry, sure shot recipe for more loss. Now to keep your cool and consciously trade without any compulsiveness is the best intraday strategy psychologically, but if I may add from the point of view of technical analysis and charts, then please read on. I like works of traders like Larry Connors and Linda Rashk, and the RSI. 2. Strategy gives the trader a nice edge on anticipating the high probability intraday setup from the next trading session. There are four steps to this approach. Step 1. Identify the long-term trend. The first step in the RSI 2 period trading strategy involves looking for the prevailing longer-term trend. Connors recommended using the 200-day simple moving average, SMA, for the purpose. 
When prices are trading above the 200-day SMA, we consider the security to be in a long-term uptrend and hence we trade from the long side only. Similarly, when prices are trading below the 200 SMA, we consider the security to be in a long-term downtrend and hence we trade from the short side only. Step 2. Selecting RSI 2 thresholds. The second step involves deciding upon the overbought and oversold threshold limits for the two-period RSI. Connors recommended looking for buying opportunities on a dip below 5 and selling opportunities on a surge above 95. Step 3. Timing the trade. The third step of the RSI 2 period trading strategy deals with the actual timing of the entries for the trades. Connors advocated taking positions just before the closing. Step 4. Exiting the trade. Connors recommended exiting the long trades on an advance over the 5 period SMA. Similarly, he recommended closing out short positions on a decline below the 5 SMA. But to have a much detailed understanding of this approach, feel free to check this, an effective short-term trading strategy. Hope this helps you become a better consciously profitable trader. Smile, trade well, trade wise. Answer by, Stapazinos. Leave behind for a while the 1.000.000.000.000 trading strategies that every guru suggests through social media. But these guys have destroyed the market and they are responsible for huge losses of the majority of traders. However a trader is the only responsible for his performance through his choices. My opinion is that if someone want to differentiate from the usual methods of trading has to put into his life the word automation. Electronic trading platforms invade into traders lives more and more in the last years. A trader is able to trade thousands of markets all over the world from his laptop or his mobile phone. It's very easy to open slash close positions, to have configurable charts, to put technical analysis indicators and many other actions that only professional traders, banks or funds were able to do just a few years ago. There's something more important though, something that many retail traders don't know even if it exists or they have a limited comprehension on it, automation. An automated trading system is a computer software that creates and places trading orders. This software runs on an electronic trading platform which provides the appropriate programming environment for the implementation and the mechanism slash framework for the connection with the broker and the markets. An automated trading system may also implement more advanced trading techniques such as risk management, signal management etc. There are traders that prefer semi-automation in their trading attitude. They use sophisticated tools that help them to indicate trading signals and opportunities but they want to have a serious discretionary stage on the process as well. They use automation, not in a sense of opening slash closing slash managing positions automatically but in the sense of having an easy, efficient fast and reliable way to do their markets analysis. Modern people use cars to go to their work, they use email and cell phones for their communication needs etc. in the same way. Sophisticated tools save time and money for the traders and the bottom line is that traders should spend their time studying and designing new strategies instead of doing endless and time-consuming actions that a software can do in a few seconds. Trading Automation Advantages The most important advantages of trading automation are Availability Some markets are open many hours per day while other markets are open 24 fifths. Trading signals and opportunities may appear any time and manual traders cannot take advantage of it. Save time There are fantastic trading tools, available for the retail's traders at a low cost that make their lives very simple. Traders don't need to look at dozens of charts simultaneously or they don't need to wonder if a fast-moving average has crossed above a slow-moving average, a software can do it better. Execution speed It's very simple, a software executes orders instantly. Psychology We all have the experience of our attitude filtering through our emotions. If we risk money it's getting even worse. We can be very pessimistic, very optimistic so we can see things different than the reality. A pilot should always trust the electronic equipment and devices instead of his perception. We should definitely do the same in our trading. Discipline Most of the traders have experienced moments where we change the rules of our own strategy. We move the stop loss. We open positions without signals. We don't open positions while there's a signal. The list is endless. Some say that the world of the computer and machines is a cold, soulless and inhumane world. Maybe it's a philosophical problem to resolve but for the trading is exactly what we're looking for. Trading Automation Disadvantages We've mentioned many unimportant advantages of an automated trading system. There are some issues though that we need to consider. An automated trading system is not a machine that will make us rich. It will implement exactly the same trading rules of our strategy but it will do it better than us. Software most of the times have bugs. 
We need to test very extensively a trading software before we use it with real money. Since we use computer software and internet, we depend in a very serious degree on the reliability of our hardware and software equipment, computer, internet connection, trading platform etc. There are very reliable and low-cost solutions for those issues such as VPS, a virtual machine which comes as a service.